she also ran, prior to this startup, she ran a company called Media Monks, which was a really big digital transformation consultancy agency thought leadership. And she's an amazing woman, and I'm so excited and happy to have her here. And as we technically try to reset the computer, you know, TechTO, we're a small organization. You know, we just don't have, like, this is not high tech. We're doing our best, and we are, no, no, it'll work. We're just going to. You can start. Okay, awesome. I just came back from two days managing nine different agencies in the U.S., so I'm tired, and I also have too much to say in five minutes, so um, I also don't need the slides. Um, but a little bit about me. Thank you, Alex and TechTO. Um, I grew up in agency land 22 years-ish, and the last two stints were at IPG, where I started the Cadrian Programmatic Trading Desk, uh, mix in the audience, and we used to work together there. Um, and then, uh, so long story short, I was in media tech since programmatic started. We tested Google's DSP, for example, Invite, before they had it. We used a machine called Turn, if any programmatic people are in there, in this, in this room. Turn couldn't target the country of Canada, more specifically. So I once um, ran the first programmatic campaign in Canada using Turn, and we targeted, do you remember this? We targeted Coca-Cola in Montreal, and I had to upload all the postal codes in the Montreal area myself into Turn. So that's, that's how long ago I've been in the media tech space. Ugh. But I see this as a bit of a shift like that. Like, we all thought this was this crazy tech world then, and it was, but it's kind of no different now in the sense that we all have to learn something new, and we're going to learn something new, and it sounds scary, but it's not. This microphone is so temperamental. So anyway, I loved Media Monks <laughs> because I found that even though we were doing a lot of AI, Cheryl's and they actually won, uh, they won AI Agency of the Year for the first year it was awarded. It was really great to be there for that. But there wasn't a lot of internal transformation, uh, and that's what I wanted to focus on. I think agencies are filled with people, and they're filled with smart, creative people, and we need to get the most out of those people. So while Tom had a great slide showing all the investments that the agencies are making, and they are making lots of investments, most people in the agencies are still learning the basics. And to go back to the previous presentation, really the whole thing is about harnessing the creativity of the people. And so we're missing our biggest asset if we don't get our people trained on AI. And that's, that's the work that I'm really passionate about doing. So um, I think we can go to the next slide. So just going back to that slide for a sec, our purpose is to ease the pain of transformation. And I'm also going to add and make it exciting for our agencies and brands. And I want to start with agencies because that's where I think all the creativity for the brands is coming. OK, next. Thanks. And if it doesn't go up, that's OK. <laughs> What's the, oh, the, the next slide is a, is a case study that we can just talk about because I have it memorized. I don't know if anybody saw the Klarna news that came out last week. It was. It's a big thing in uh, campaign, but it was really in a lot of publications. Klarna cut 25% of their media spend with Mediacom, and they got a 37% lift, and they, they was mostly generative AI in that. But the purpose here of bringing that case study up is to show that the agency worlds really are changing. So despite those investments, I feel like it's poker, like when I turn around, it's not there. <laughs> Maybe it is, I don't know. Um, even though those investments are being made, agencies are going to be at risk of losing a lot of money, right? It's there. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. So, <laughs> that was ridiculous. So, if it you were to, if you're an, if, uh, no, it's fine, because I, I know it, but now it's just funny. If you're an agency right now and you read that Klarna case study, you're kind of like shitting your pants, let's be honest. Like, what are you going to do? You're asking yourself questions probably like, who are my clients talking to? Are my clients talking to shiny new AI objects? Probably, if they can get them to pick up the phone. Are they talking to OpenAI? Are they going to be the next case study? Do I even know? Am I setting up these meetings myself? Like, is the agency partnering to build stuff, or are they actually setting up the meetings with the brands? So there's a lot going on on the agency side, and I think it's worrisome. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, we can go to the next slide, actually. We're done. <laughs> so it's not sexy or fun. It's not the cool creative stuff. It's more the backbone of the organization. But what is sexy and fun about it is that it's amazing to see the light bulbs go off for people when they start to use it and get something exciting out of it and make their lives, not just their work, more productive and um, easy to run. So that's all we're doing. We just want to go in and help people educate, understand how to use it, reset in an organization like what AI can and can't do, really go deep with the people who are going deep on it and, and really just go like two or three levels deep with, the, with an organization at the beginning. But the whole purpose of this is to take off the crap that people are doing and understand how to do things differently and more creatively and then harness the ideas that are coming out of all the great people that work within an agency. So it's understanding potential and, and adoption and then just straight up change management. And I think that's my last slide. Oh, no, it isn't. Um, that's it. I basically already said that one. Did I do my five minutes? You did your five minutes, but you can. We can keep talking because that I was think a you speed had, round. You have a super interesting offering. So, okay. So tell me, what was the moment? I'm just going to ask you one question before I reach out to the audience. What was the moment when you were at Media Monks where you went, "Holy shit! I need to like, I need to, I need to, you know, because running a company is hard, but starting a startup is like ridiculous, right?" Um, what was that moment for you and how did you kind of like do it? Like give us, give us your journey a little bit. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'd, if I'm honest, I was considering leaving Media Monks because my job had changed a bunch and there's, you know, there's always a big picture, right? When it, but I, I think it's important in tech, I've always thought it was important to stay in the current cusp of the wave and I feel like AI is that. That's why you guys are all here and doing it and there's a lot of smart people I can tell from the room introductions, that there's people here building stuff and really working on it. I like being in that environment. And it was actually also a conversation with my friend Christina, who works at BBDO, and we were both on these AI task forces, and like everybody was like, oh my god, how am I going to learn all this when I already have a full-time job? And, and I'm like, it's not realistic for everybody to learn how to do stuff and be organized about it when you all have a full-time job. So I thought it would be important to actually step away and then spend time educating myself and finding other people much smarter than me who can then build programs and, and help people. Because it's not realistic. It's kind of unfair, actually. Like, unless you're able to do your job with the use of AI, like, in a creative setting, to, to go researching what kind of deck help you could get from Gamma or Beautiful AI, or to, it does take a little bit of time, right? Yeah. And then stuff changes. Yeah, and, and, and it's not just chat GPT. Like, I think there's all this, like, idea of, like, we can do a, there's a little, you know, you learn a little bit and you think you know everything. This is not that. This is actually, you need to, like, down and learn. Yeah. One of the things I think our, our Google friends will tell us, there is a very, there's one, like, if there's one small recommendation for you guys that have not, if you don't know about AI, take AI Essentials, the Google AI Essentials. It's very um, easy to understand. It's great examples. It gives you the concepts. But then if you're implementing it into a business, that's a different, like, skill set, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. exciting. Okay, any, any questions for Tessa? Okay. I'm going to take one back. Yep. I'm running over. Hey, um, I guess I have two questions and don't hate me. Um, being on the brand management side and knowing that AI is an accelerator amplifier to your work and how agencies will leverage that more and more, will that result into a cost reduction in how brands pay agencies? I think that's one question. Yes. Can I start there? Because I'm tired. And I won't remember the first Please. one by the time you get to the... Okay. Yep. So, yes. They, you know, here's the thing. Like, if an agency went and did all this transformation now, even if Mediacom did it now, they're not going to win back that cut that they just hit there. And Okay. But there's going to be new things that they can do and new problems to solve, right? So, instead of, like, that's where I want to kind of... That's where the transformation piece comes in. Because we don't, in two years from now, like we have no idea what we're going to be able to solve for in a year or two, let's be honest. But you only get there if you get your brain power working. So the cuts that are experiencing and the marketing spend, for sure, they're not going to stop at the moment until the agencies come up with 
And, and they're trying to build stuff to sell, like I said. And some of that's great solutions, but we can do more. Like if you've got a small group of people building stuff to sell right now, which is sort of what's happening in the larger agencies, it's really clustered in a small techie group or, a, yep. you know, imagine if you had the whole organization with then 25% of their time back working on a, all kinds of solutions. So that's, that's what gets me going. What's your second question? Sure, um, I guess that's a question for both Courage and you. Um, we learned that 89% of ads fail and that's because probably of a lack of insight and with the, with the presence of AI, how are we all in the agency brand creative side educating ourselves to be more in tune with human insight? Is there a way to do that? We actually have a company that will be We're speaking about it a little bit later. So hold on for that. But yeah, Tessa, why don't, you, why don't you answer that? I mean, I don't know how to answer that. Do you want to try? Yeah, sure. Uh, how are you trying to be insightful? I mean, I know at Courage we try to spend as much time uh, like actually talking to people and trying to understand, like if we have a given target audience, we'll try to spend time with them and try to understand what motivates them, what scares them, what are the barriers to doing whatever the thing is that we want them ultimately to be doing. Um, where AI fits into that equation, um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure the folks from Google might give us some insight into that uh, yeah. shortly. But uh, it's, it's really hard to do. And, and fundamentally, that's why uh, most ads are ignored, is because they've probably not done a great job really understanding um, the folks that they're talking to and then bringing to life their message in a way that is disruptive and is going to break through the myriad things that are coming at us in a given day. Yeah, amazing. So look, I, I mean, I think we can we can keep going, and I think there's so many questions that we can, you know, kind of. De de but I, if you guys have any more, and specifically around, you know, the startup and what uh, what Tesla's doing, please reach out for her with her afterwards. She's an incredible person, and uh, yeah, amazing. Thank and you. Congratulations. Okay, so. Um,